Sports Talk Live is presented by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers who know what it takes to be number one. It's all about drive. Yeah, as a Bears fan, I'm not optimistic about this at all. I, mean, I know some people are saying maybe the Bears will get better at center now that Ted Larson's there. Let's be honest, this is his third team. If Ted Larson was that great, don't you think Arizona or Tampa Bay would have kept him? Probably. You know, you had a, you had a young piece in Grasso who was going to gel with the offensive line. There was a lot of hope for the offensive line, protecting Cut Cutler, maybe making some room for Langford to run the ball, and it just got weaker. Yeah, I think, though, at this point, um, we don't know what Hironis Grasso is. I mean, I think he was okay. <laughs> you, right, you last. didn't lose all in Cruz. Exactly. So, so he was okay, and I think that this is a player – um, that the Bears obviously are considering where he was drafted, that they are looking forward to him being good someday, whether it was going to be this year or the following year. So honestly, to plug, if they're going to do this plug-in thing this year and it's Ted Larson or whomever it is, I don't think that this is like devastating to where you're losing something huge this year. It doesn't feel like that way to me. Anyway. That being said, though, the offensive line stability is, is always something that you need out of a football team. And they haven't played a game yet, and we're already talking about, all right, well, they're going to move this guy that wasn't that great last year and got cut. Are they going to start him at center? You're like, oh, wow, uh, how serious is this? But for Grasso, wouldn't you say year two is the most important year for a player in the NFL? Because the first year you show that you belong, and then that second year is huge for your development. So this is going into his second season. He put on a lot of weight. He was 300 pounds. He looked mean and physical. I feel bad for him. I mean, really. And yeah. he looked like he was in great shape. He was not a fat 300 pounds. No. He was ready to rock he was and ripped. roll. He was looking big. He was. Well, yeah, and, and it, yeah, it, it does. It hurts, obviously. I mean, and it hurts your development, and the second year is hugely important, and who knows, maybe he was going to become Pro Bowl-esque. Who knows? The good news is that you have Kyle Long back where he needs to be, and that, thank God, you brought in Bobby Massey this year. I mean, so they were looking at the offensive line as an area where they needed to add. However, you lose Matt Slauson, which – I got to admit, at the time, I wasn't freaking out like, oh, now you wish he was there. I kind of do, but I mean, that's just hindsight at this point, from my, from my point of view. 